Hey guys, my name is Emily. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys how I curl my hair. So every time I curl my hair and I post it on my Instagram, I usually get some DMs from people asking me that they want me to do an updated routine. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. So before we get started, I just want to talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing. So everything that I'm wearing, from earrings to necklaces to my ring, is all from Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a New York City-based jewelry line that focuses pretty much on sustainability. So all of the materials they use are from recycled metals. So you can rest assured that everything that you're purchasing from Ana Luisa is sustainable. They do not have any crazy markups that most jewelry lines have. Their jewelry prices start at $39 and go up from there depending on the type of styles that you're looking for. And what I love about the brand is that by the end of 20. 20, what they plan to achieve is to have a net zero carbon footprint. So the styles that I chose to get were these hoop earrings. So these are like mismatched pairs. I think they add so much interest. They're super stylish and so different because the two hoops are different sizes. They just add so much more interest to like a really basic makeup look, really basic outfit. You just throw on like these jewelry pieces and your whole look is completely elevated. I also am wearing these three layered necklaces. I believe this is a collaboration with a YouTuber named Michelle Choi and I think it's so cute, so pretty. I love wearing all three together. It looks very like rocker and biker chic but it's still very simple and elegant. Uh, you can wear them separately if you choose to do so which I think I will depending on the outfit but I love laying all three of them together. Lastly, I do have this really pretty braided gold ring. I love that it's so simple, it's dainty, and it's timeless. And I do plan on wearing this with a bunch of other rings for the layered effect look. I also wanted to show you these earrings that I wasn't wearing in the video, but I also think they're super cute. They're just little Scorpio earrings, which is my zodiac sign, and they look so cute and super dainty. All these pieces are made from exceptional quality, so just rest assured that you're going to get something that will be tarnish free and will be long lasting. Like I said, their prices start at $39 and goes up, so there's literally something for everyone. And I just want to thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Okay, on to the hair curling part. So the curling iron that I use is from the brand called T3 Micro, and I use the 1.25 inch barrel. So when I curl my hair, I do put it on the 3 setting. Um, I don't put it on the hottest because I don't want to burn my hair. Another thing is that when I curl my hair, I make sure that I'm doing it on day two hair. I don't curl my hair right after I take the shower or like freshly wash hair because I notice that my hair won't hold the curl that well. So when my hair is a little bit dirty after one or two days of washing, it's the best way to hold my curl. So that's when I curl my hair and that's when I plan on doing it. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my hair out making sure I don't have any like knots in my hair. And then I separate my hair into two parts. I used to not do this and then I noticed that I had pieces of hair that weren't curled and it was just really uneven. And then I just use a little clip to hold it in place. So we're gonna be working with this bottom layer first. Okay, so I work my way from the back to the front. So I'm just gonna take a little piece on the back and taking my curling iron, I'm going to pull it through my hair once. And then I take it and I just curl it like you normally would. I make sure I do the bottom first and then I pull it all the way to the top. And then I just let it sit there for about like 10 or 15 seconds. So a lot of people like to curl their hair in different directions. I don't do that. I curl my hair all in one direction. So I'm just going to let that sit. And then I'm going to release it. So you're going to have like this really big bouncy curl. And that's fine. This is going to be less structured later on. So I'm going to go ahead, throw this in the back of my head, and then just con keep continuing on this part. So again, I take my wand. Pull it through my hair once and bring it mostly to the bottom. Curl mainly the bottom first and then bring my rest, the rest of my hair in. And I'm gonna leave this on here for like 10, 15 seconds. Okay. I'm just going to release. Again, this is gonna be a lot less structured once everything is done. So I'm going to throw that in the back of my head and then move on to the last strip of this part. Okay, go. 
pigtails. And this is one section of my hair that's done. Now we're gonna go on to the other side. So curling my hair is pretty quick. It usually only takes me about 15, 20 minutes for my whole head of hair. And I think that's pretty quick. I do everything one direction. I know a lot of people like changing the directions to make it look more natural, but I have done that in the past and I found that this way is the best way my hair looks when it's curled. So this is just what I do. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through and just do the rest of this side of my hair. Now this first layer is all curled. Now I'm gonna just work my way up to the top. I'm gonna take the clasp that I have, the little claw, and I'm gonna take the claw and put it onto the bottom section of my hair. Put this all up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on this part of my hair. So again, I'm gonna start with my left side. Same exact technique, pull it through my entire hair, and then take it, curl mainly the bottom, and then work all the way up. So of course my right side always takes a lot longer because of the way my hair is parted. Uh, the right side of my head has a lot more hair. So it just takes a little bit longer and some extra sections, but overall it's still a very, very quick process. I've been using this curling iron for I think a year, two years, and I've used a lot of curling irons in the past and if you have Asian hair, you know it's really difficult to find a curling iron that actually curls your hair and your curls actually stay. I tried a lot of different brands and I found that the T3 Mica holds my curl the best. So every time people ask me like what is a curling iron that I recommend, I usually say this company. They're a little bit more expensive than like a lot of drugstore brands, but I think my hair looks cute every time I curl it and my curls actually last for up to a week. Now we're just on to the last section. I really focus more on the pieces that are near my face because, you know, they're the face framing pieces. So I really try to make sure that they're just away from my face so it's very flattering. And also I do put it like a little bit higher so there's a little bit more volume in the front. But just play around with your curling iron and see what looks best for your face. Let's pull it down. Here we go. Now this section of my hair is also done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off a clip on the bottom. And 
This is when I look throughout my whole entire hair to make sure absolutely everything is curled and I like the way it is. Sometimes I recurl certain parts of my hair if I want it to be a little bit more voluminous. But um, for the most part right now, I see that everything looks fine. So it's not gonna stay like this. I'm going to brush it with my fingers, but I want my hair to settle and cool down a bit. So I'm going to just take the clip and I'm just gonna clip all of my hair into like a really low ponytail and then I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and then just go back with it with my fingers or my fingers through it just to loosen it up a bit so typically I like to do my hair first and then while my hair is settling I do my makeup but of course today you know I had to do the other way around so I will be back in 15 minutes 20 minutes and then I'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair and like I said before I do like to curl my hair on second day hair so that typically means that my hair is a little bit oily and a little bit more flat than it would be. So in order to combat that, I go in with some dry shampoo. So I want to show you guys a few of my favorite options that I like. So I love the RN Co. Death Valley Dry Shampoo as well as the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. And lastly, I also am obsessed with the Orbe Gold Blush Dry Shampoo. This is very luxe, this is very expensive. You do not have to splurge on this, but I love this so much. It smells so good. I love the way it makes my hair feel, and I've been through maybe five or six bottles of this. If you want something that is just more in the mid-tier range, I would definitely go for the R & Co. and Death Valley Dry Shampoo. This works amazing as well. But in terms of hairspray, the one that I like to use is the R & Co. Structural Hold Setting Spray. I find that this one really locks my curls down and my hair does stay curled for about a week or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this clip off and see my hair. I'm going to go ahead and take my fingers and I'm just going to run them through it. I like big curls, you know, I don't like the very tight looking curls, so I really just run my hair through it, my fingers through it. And this is what it looks like. So now I'm just gonna go in with my dry shampoo. I'm just gonna go in with my Arm Coat Death Valley. I focus on my roots. I'm just going to brush this into my scalp. And like instantly, you could just see that my hair has so much more volume than it did before. Just like this. And the last thing that I do is just my Arn Co. hairspray. So. Just take my hair and I scrunch it up like this. That is it. So that's all I do in order to curl my hair. My curls typically last for about a week. Sometimes I do a little touch-ups here and there throughout the week, but my hair just kind of stays like this. I think it's the products that I use. I think it's the curling iron that I use. So, yeah. for today i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i also want to thank anna louisa for sponsoring today's video i'm going to have all the links down below their website all the pieces that i'm wearing in case that you're interested and let me know if you try out this hair or any of the jewelry pieces please let me know and i will talk to you guys in my next video next week bye